time in his career this season. Acuna, Swanson, and Olsen, as per usual, leading things off for Atlanta. And Reed Detmer. Ronald Acuna Jr. doubled yesterday, his only hit of the series. And it's one and one. Your mindset as a pitcher right now, score is pitch your game, don't pitch to the lead here. Slider misses inside. Two. Hot smash to third. Good play by Goslin. And Acuna is retired. Here in Atlanta area and roaming center field. By the way, Goose made a nice play. That ball was hit hard by Acuna. Yes, he did. And a run scored a couple of runs. He has been a really tough out for Angels. Being right handed. Lee Boggs used to be that way. A lot of pitches thrown. Takes a while. Notably, Phil Goslin playing third. Jonathan VR was designated for assignment this morning around the game for quite a while. He could run. He's a, a plus defender. A veteran outfielder. Two balls and two strikes. And Swanson's locked up on a cold strike three. There's that slider, and it's a hard yesterday that extended a hitting streak and ran into eight straight games. Olsen is the only member of. Olsen struck for a two run homer on Friday. Nine to 86 miles an hour and throwing it for more strike, higher strike percentage with a slider. Three balls and no strikes to Matt Olsen. Up on left handed batters. Loses Olsen on four pitches. My go to is to read Detmers to continue to base runner aboard now for the red hot Austin Riley. Riley homered yesterday. Five, not a guy that's going one for four in consecutive games with a single. He's doing damage. Well, here's a guy that crushes on non fastballs. I know you don't like 0 2 heaters up. There was one that missed by design. How about it? Detmers 1 2. Got him to swing through a changeup, a couple of strikeouts. The two. I'm sure there's been pranks in the clubhouse. Maybe you've been a part of, maybe you've been victim of. But uh, that was just a fun moment. For some reason, I don't remember. I don't recall any of those. <laughs> <laughs> I've Five nothing Angels. Marcelo Zuna leads things off. And takes a looping curveball for a strike. One and one. Reed Detton. Facing a two time All Star who's homered in the series. And it's two balls and a strike. Strategy for Reed. Steal a strike with yep. a curveball. Three and one. Strike with a slider against. Hansby Swanson. Fastball upper part of the strike zone swung through. Even on a 3 2 count, Reed could throw any one of those. Back with a fastball, jammed him. Ozuna pops it up. Stassi makes the catch, basket style. Well, we get a little cloud cover now, darkening the playing field as William Contreras digs in. Through Wilson, also an all star this year in Chicago with the Cubs. And it's one and one. We will celebrate the class of 2022. Yes. He would be in it. It's world his, famous right now. His exploits yesterday. A called strike. Two and two. Conducted by veterans and special committees. Each well deserving of course. That a bouncing ball for Ren Hifo. And a quick second. Here's Orlando Arcia now hit a three run homer on Friday when hitless yesterday and takes a strike. National narrative on Reed and it kind of bothers me whenever I see it on a national network. It's usually on the bottom line scrolling through the screen stats. Arcia yes. goes down on three pitches and that'll have to wait. We'll talk about Reed's recent Acuna Reed Detmers back to work. Three strikeouts and a walk in his first couple of innings. And again, it's a first pitch curveball that he's 24 miles an hour, so it's tough to sit back on that as a hitter. That was a pretty good separation between the speeds of his curveball and slider. A ball and a strike to count to Heredia. Fastball fouled away.
and he's not moving away from that pitching rubber. He's ready to be. The next one, two to Heredia. Crowded him with the fastball. Got a check swing, two and two. Later is a first round pick by the Angels. So it's not as though he's a secret to anybody here. Yeah. He was on their radar as a high school. 2020 season, obviously, a lot of things went wrong that year. Redia sends that one into right, slicing, and it's a. You talk about a power fastball. He's about 100 plus. Yeah, who's battled back from being behind in the count. The payoff pitch once again. Already is on those breaking balls. Shook Stassi off once. Here's the 3 2. Back to a curveball, and he tied him up. Oh, that was a beauty. Somewhere in the world. That was beautiful. <laughs> wow. Here's Michael Harris now. <laughs> and after hanging around in there on a 10 pitch at bat, looked like he was on roller skates. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> that's the that's why we love baseball right there. Nice back pick by Renhifo. Yeah, it's all coming together today. Since making that adjustment in the arm angle to throw a slider. Uh, tried that first pitch curveball to Ronda Lacuna and just missed high with it. Adding average over his last 17 games down to 190. He's the only Brave right now that isn't clicking. Yet the team is still winning. Yep. That's how the player has been quiet. 2 and 0. And Reed gets a call with a changeup. Hit the ball for a big series against the Phillies. Yeah, go heat up in Philly. Ah, missed with a breaking ball that time, not by much. Because he hasn't missed by much on any of these pitches in this sequence. It's a swing on a fastball on 3 and 1, a full count now. He is just he just feels like he is in complete full count to Acuna two gone base is empty Another fastball to him almost got that 3 <laughs> 2 pitch got him <laughs> <laughs> Yeah First pitch curveball Longer. His fastball has been pretty consistent today, especially pitching inside with his fastball to right handed batters against the righties. It's a good fastball in the outer half. Like when he uses that fastball downstairs, too. Not all. One two pitch home to Dansby Swanson's lined into right, a base hit. He went back to back fastball base runner when he walked in the first. Speaking of no hitters, you know, it, the pitching standard for the Braves is always Maddox, Glavin, and Smoltz. Right? I'm not old enough to remember Spahn and. And Reed got one at the very beginning of his major league career. Yeah, his 11th start. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, Roger Clemens, even though he had a couple games where he struck out 20, never. Checked it. Two and two. And a full count to Olsen now. Three and two. He does stay put, and Olsen does strike out. It's another strikeout on a curveball. Second time. He was a strikeout victim in the first. Riley lines that one into left. Was that a first pitch curveball? Well, something change off up. speed, oh, speed change yeah. up. Okay. Perfect sense why they're as good as they are against left-handed starters. I mean, it's really a right-handed hitting murderer's row. Acuna, Swanson, Riley, Ozuna. You know, when you look at the batting average. Two balls and no strikes to count to Ozuna. A high fly ball out to shallow left. Velasquez and Adele are there. Adele makes the catch. Boy, it looked like Velasquez. It's William Contreras. It's a dangerous bat. Bring once every 10 plate appearances.
And he is lucky. Keep him in pinstripes. I don't think there's going to be any Yankee hometown discount. By the way, let's take a look. They homer once every 62 plate appearances. Oh, man. Reed really wanted that call. Last ball count. Use that aggression against him. Get something on the ground. Runs a fastball inside to fill the count. Three and two. Atlanta's first hits of the game coming this inning. The runners do go, and it's fouled off. It's that slow curveball after a 95-mile-an-hour fastball. The next 3-2 pitch home from Detmers, and he loses him on ball four. Four pitches, four strikes to Orlando Arcia. Good fastball throughout this day for Reed. Swanson, Riley, and Contreras aboard, and it's 0-2. Another run the express by him. 0-2 pitch. Melted inside of everybody's cap. A 1-2. Flipped the curveball up there and missed. 2-2 pitch home. A good fastball that pops him up. It's slicing, however, out of play. Here's the sixth pitch of the at-bat. And it'll go to a full count now. Guillermo Heredi awaits next. A bouncer to third. Goslin makes a good play, gets it across to Wall. Boy, Matt also could do it all too, can he? <laughs> First pitch curveball. Guillermo Heredi's down by eight. Eight nothing Angels. Carlin has a little bit more on the freeze. I cannot believe he lost that race, knowing how serious he takes this, guys. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't happen often. Heredia is going to beat that out, and then some. Detmer's airmailed the. So Heredia in scoring position now for Michael Harris, who on the first pitch lines into the opposite field. The ball well hit. Adele circling under it, and he makes the catch. And you're the batter 0 for 2 today. And taking a strike. Detmer Center is best on average in a game this season. It's a call on a changeup. This is one of those times where you have a couple borderline pitches go your way. You have to throw a 0-2. Oh, Tried it down. 1-2 and... pitch. Another pretty good take. 2-2. Two and two. In The way they've started their careers. The 2-2 two -two home. Another one in the left. Adele lays out and makes the catch. Plays where Adele keeps the run off the board. And now it's Dansby Swanson who on the first pitch grounds to Velasquez. And that leadoff. <laughs>